Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to do my first uh, unboxing video from a donation we got yesterday. And also this will be my first uh, time speaking English in videos, so let's just see how that will go. Uh, the story is that yesterday a guy contacted me through the webpage we have and uh, asked me if I wanted a suitcase full of games. And uh, of course, yeah, always prepared to receive donations. So uh, he used to own this thrift shop and it closed a while ago and uh, went out of business. So he had pretty much his whole uh, store housed up in his apartment. So I went there and took a look and uh, this suitcase contained as he said, full of games, and we have it right, right now in front of us, so let's just uh, peek inside. Okay, so let's uh, have a look then. Uh, yep, yeah. it surely contains a lot of games, and uh, it seems like they're all from, or uh, seems like they're all for Commodore 64, and the Commodore 128, and uh, here are games that are do not contain any cover what is this all stars all star hits commander oceans all star hits commander contains head over heels whiz ball and mutants then we have these joysticks spectra video and the other one is uh, Quick Joy 3. Yeah. So just the uh, standard Commodore, Commodore joysticks. So we also have a lot of games and uh, most of them are in these kinds of packages. And maybe you know them. Some of them at least. Although Commodore released a lot of games and, you know, fair to say most of them are trash. But there are some hidden gems in there also. And a lot of, a lot of good ones as well. So, yeah, this game included three music cassettes. Uh, space chattering sounds and story. So you got some uh, extras with games, even on Commodore cassettes. So it's not only the it's not only the PC big box that contains a lot of feelings and stuff. So I'm just gonna browse very fast through this case and uh, and take a look what we had. I will then do a video later, maybe next week, and uh, and we will cover some of these games in more detail. Oh, Death Wish 3. This is Charles Bronson game. Right, yeah. Deflector. Jack the Nipper. What is this? Well... A lot of games like these came on the Commodore 64. Like, uh, but I think this one is pretty famous, although I don't know it personally. It's, uh, I think it's from a comic in the UK, but I'm not sure. I I'll have to research that further. Uh, the Sentinel, Double Take, Nomad. Short Circuit. Actually, I played this one with my friend when I was like 12 years old. And uh, I recently had watched the movie, so I was pretty psyched to play this game, actually. And it was pretty good. Not fantastic, but just be able, being able to play the game, you know, the character from a movie that you recently saw and you were like 12 years old, was just fantastic. Breakthrough. And this is uh, Spy Demise. And the Spy Strikes Back. Uh, 
Then we have uh, Kettle, Defcon, it's a pretty nice game. Super Can, the Super Can. Yeah, this is uh, one of these weird games. Super Can, okay. Magic Madness. I don't know, is this a side scrolling game or something like that? Probably. Yeah, as I said, I will make another video you know, next week and cover some of these games in more detail. Uh, Deathscape, Nexus, and this is Snaps and Football Director. The Ultimate, ultimate Football Challenge. Masters of Strategy. And then we have a smaller size. We, you know, these were all double, so you could have uh, two cassettes in here. But I think most of these games just have one cassette, even though the package clearly suggests that you can have more. So it could be like uh, in the big box PC area era, era uh, we they just got bigger and bigger the boxes to compete for storage space and to compete for a customer's attention so maybe that also happened with the Commander games I don't know uh, then we have Space Harrier that's probably everyone knows from the arcades and uh, here we have the Commodore 64 version Trolley Wally, Comic Bakery, Rogue Trooper. It's I think it's probably based on uh, comics. Yeah, the 2000 AD comics. So it'll be probably interesting to look, take a look at this game. And then we have the Tales of Arabia Nights. And uh, this has some interesting label on it because it says now with ultra load fast loading and here it says uh, contains speech no hardware required yeah so it's interesting to take a look at this and uh, here we have uh, zodiac and uh, frac 64 Highway Encounter from Gremlin Sigma 7 and uh, Toy Bizarre Toy Bizarre, what is that? Yeah, I also have to check out this one It looks interesting but you never know with these games and the cover are very interesting but sometimes the games are just crap so uh, yeah that concludes our video and uh, just uh, watch us next week and we will cover some of these games in more details till then bye bye